Wow, this is kind of different kind of foam with a little hard layer on top. That's pretty cool how it's packaged. Let's get this sideways to get more of it on the camera. There we go. So we have the user manual here. Looks like we have some extra props. The drone. Nice slick color. Get this unfolded in a second. So these look like batteries. Two batteries. We have ah blade guards, prop guards here. We have, I'm guessing, the charging mechanism. And then we have the remote. So my guess is, based on what how I'm seeing this right now, the box is going to be your carrying case. So this is a cover that goes here to keep your control knobs from being bumped and skewed and things. So I'm liking this box and the use of it as a carrying case. So definitely want to keep up with that. And let's check out the parts here. So as I said, here's the drone. Here's a remote. Now this remote seems kind of heavy duty. Now it is, it does feel light. It does feel light. Feels a little light. Um, we'll be, when we test drive it, we'll be able to see kind of how this functions. It does feel a little light in my hands though. Doesn't really have um, really any weight to it at all, which is kind of odd. Okay, so there's the remote. Here's the drone. Looks like we have more props in here, as I said. So let's take that out. So apparently the props are attached with screws. These are little prop caps, as you see here. And the props themselves must be added with a screw. Looks like each leg is lighted. Little snap out joints here. They're also identified AB, AB, for that quadcopter type thing. There's the camera. Little front headlight action here. Let's see what that's all about. Battery compartment in the back here. I like these little light domes. I think it's going to light up pretty bright. But I like the fit and finish of it so far. Power button there. Little logo action going on. It is a compact drone, I would call it. It also feels light. Um... Neither here nor there about that. Just wanted to let you know it does feel kind of light. I know when you add the battery, it's going to add more weight to it. But it does feel kind of light in your hands. Here is the charging apparatus. I need to disclose that this product was sent to me at no charge. I was paid for this review, but all the opinions you're hearing are my own and were not pre-approved. So let's get back to it. So the remote has a built-in battery. So I'm liking this so far because you don't have to buy any batteries. You just got to charge your batteries. So everything has its own batteries, which is odd for this because it feels so light. But apparently that's the charging port for the battery that's built into the remote. So uh, that's a positive sign of the remote. I was kind of doubting the lightweight feel of it but built-in battery gotta dig that okay and then here are the actual batteries looks like they snap right in oh, that's upside down there we go battery slides in there little ejection button built into the battery to release it I like the slick black on black everything is black we'll see how visible that is overall um, this looks like as though it's the size of an outdoor flyer. So we'll see how that kind of plays when we actually get it outside and start flying it. Here we are with the drone in flight. And you can see here as I cut to different versions of me flying the drone, I wanted to kind of keep it over the sky area because over the fence and the house with that being in the background, a little bit harder for you to see. But the maneuverability is really good. 
even in moderate wind situations, which was very surprising. It hovers well without you having to play with it a lot. You can kind of just set it and it'll stay home pretty good. Now, this is straight out of the box, not doing a lot of things to it. All I do is connect it to the remote, use the 360 rotate, then 360 vertical rotate, which is typical with drones to get that connection and gyroscope. It connected the satellites fairly easily. And I connected the phone app to it through the wireless that the drone puts off. So all those things were pretty much easy to do right out of the box. It has some cool built-in features, which is the automatic takeoff and landing, which is just a simple push button, which you'll see here when it lands straight down. That's the push button for that. And then you'll see me take back off using that same push button. Very easy to maneuver, two stick controls, very intuitive. You kind of get a good feel for it as you fly. I wouldn't fly this close to myself if I were you, especially if you just now kind of start off like I was doing here. Now you will see it land here in a second. That's actually an emergency style landing because the drone battery was getting low. Another great feature, kind of brings it home and lands it. So you definitely want to check out this drone and check out my next video, y'all. Bye-bye.